Hello everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Velmore. So today's dish is another dwarven oddity because it's tempura fried vegetables. So it's probably a much more popular dish with the dwarves that live closer to the surface and probably a wonderful side dish to the orange duck I made a few weeks ago. This is plate of gold. Let's get started. So the vegetables for this that I'm going to batter and fry are gonna be shiitake mushroom, sweet potato, and onion. So you want everything, including the batter and the vegetables, to be cold when they go into the fryer. So after I cut everything up, I'm going to put them in the fridge while I move on to the next step. But before I start in on the batter, I'm going to make some sweet and sour sauce. And that's going to start with some apricot jam, ketchup, brown sugar, apple cider vinegar, soy sauce. And I'm just going to mix everything together and cook it up for a few minutes. Now for the batter, I'm going to start with cake flour, some all-purpose flour, and some salt. And I'm just going to whisk that together. And now I'm just going to put that into a larger bowl with some ice water and let the flour cool down some more while the oil heats up. Now that the oil has reached up to temperature, I'm going to add in the seltzer water. And I'm going to stir those in just until they combine. So now mixing my vegetables into the batter, I'm going to fry them up. And then as they get to a nice pale gold color, I'm going to take them out. After they drain a bit, you while they're still very hot, I'm going to add a little bit of salt and then I'm going to start in on the next batch. So there's nothing really to say about this. It was battered and fried vegetables. They were delicious. They were really crispy. And the batter stayed crispy during, you know, picture taking time. So that's always impressive as well. Although I am a little surprised that it wasn't beer battered, but that's not really something you'd use on these delicate vegetables. So it's probably saved for the fish. And the sweet and sour sauce was amazing. It's right there in the name. It was sweet and it was sour, but it just works so well with the tempura. An absolutely fantastic sauce. Again, this book continues to just make wonderful sauces and dips for all their dishes. I hope you've enjoyed. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter at chef underscore Velmore. The links will be in the description of the video. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and come on back next week for another recipe.